And really, the technology allows us to do that integration. So what are these advantages? Why do I say I'm hoping that people will become more and more open-minded? We are seeing the trend that design build is enjoying some kind of a, a, a renaissance uh, with, with owners. Uh, the things I picked out, I said, it's proactive rather than reactive. Proactive, and it comes from, when I say strategic thinking, this is what I mean. Strategic thinking is about the future, and it's also looking at the impacts of the decisions you make today on the organization, on the project, on individuals, and what impact that will have on the future, instead of making it in an isolated moment. So, being proactive, anticipating what may go wrong, looking at tweaks when you have the whole team around the table in the beginning of, what if we just change the floor elevation of this building? What does that do? What if we change the site design a little bit? All those things now are much easier to work through than when you had to draw everything by hand. And it would take so long to figure out the impacts. Now we have the technology that allows us to do that in a very, very short time. Team success versus individual success. I think of this as getting rid of the ego. And the one classic example I remember of this was a very large project that I did, which was a uh, six-story building, multi-use. Uh, the project just was spinning around. And I asked the architect after I came on board what was the problem. They said, well, we can't get decisions. So we got the decisions they needed. And they were having all day eight hour design meetings and we stopped those. And when we had our first total team meeting of this design build team, I said, everybody needs to park their ego at the door because it's all about our client and their project. And so by this team success, if we do this, we will succeed as a team. Goal focus versus uh, task focus. Again, this goes back to strategic versus tactical. Not just looking at what you have to do, but what is the overall larger picture. Strategic issues versus the operational issues. One of my favorites, the last project I was working on was a skilled nursing uh, facility. And during the construction, somebody said, oh, we hadn't thought of this, but we're going to have to move dirty laundry right past the dining area and past the personal independent living space because of where we located the laundry. So they said, oh, we're going to have to build a half a million dollar uh, level connector to take care of that. And, and I remember saying, wait a minute, what, what's the issue here? It's an operational issue. But you don't want to have this dirty laundry going by the dining area and the residences. So let's look at a more strategic approach and actually found space in the building <laughs> where the laundry was going to be created and uh, change the space. Idea of thinking differently, qualitative versus quantitative, looking at the overall value and looking at life cycle costing and not just cost alone. And collaboration versus confrontation. I find that if you get everybody around the table in the beginning and you start developing relationships, when you do hit those hurdles, they become a little bit easier to overcome. And the value-based versus cost-based. Uh, looking at the subcontractors, the architect, the engineer, everybody working together uh, to find a solution that is cost-effective. We talked about collaborative software. You heard a little bit about that in an earlier presentation. And I think of this, what's the evolution? As I mentioned, it, you know, having a phone on the job site, then having a fax, even those old, old thermal faxes, and then the, the plain paper fax. Then we had cell phones, then we had PCs, and now we have a fiber optic connections where we can increase the speed, where we can increase the amount of data that we can handle. All those things from technology, having virtual meetings where people don't necessarily have to be physically in the same room. By pulling all those things together, much more collaborative thanks to the technology. And the technologies must be integrated. Must be integrated. 
And I think the uh, presentation by Printer Stat pointed that out on some of those things relative that he was showing you on the uh, RFI example. Same with integrated web-based applications. And uh, I know several years ago when I first saw where they started developing websites for projects, everything ran into that website, all the communications, the drawings. So that one of the things it did is that everyone was looking at the same thing at the same time and there was a lot more room to put documentation on that, so it helped clarify many questions that would come up on a, a particular uh, project. Uh, when things were such as a share file, when you designate controls of who can put something up there, or maybe it's just one person, but there's controls so that you're saying, I'm looking at a drawing, or I'm looking at a specification that's two iterations behind what we're actually talking about now. These are some of the things now that have really been improved. 